How does superfood turmeric control blood pressure? Turmeric for blood pressure is a topic that has grabbed the attention of research academia, and many studies have proven turmeric's ability to control high blood pressure. Let's take a comprehensive view of its research-backed benefits over blood pressure. In this video, we have rounded up how does superfood turmeric control blood pressure. Welcome to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So let's dive into the video. What exactly is turmeric? To expand on turmeric, you need to know that it has long been hailed as the spice of life. Turmeric, Indian saffron, yellow ginger, yellow root, or kacha haldi all names refer to turmeric plants having the scientific name curcuma longa. Turmeric possesses three active phytochemicals, known as curcuminoids, collectively known as curcumin, a bright orange flavonoid, well regarded for its antioxidant properties. Defining blood pressure and high blood pressure. While hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a chronic state that can accompany several health problems, including cardiovascular diseases, myocardial infarction, stroke, retinopathy, renal failure, an average blood pressure level is less than 120-80 mmHg. Blood pressure consistently above average range may be diagnosed as high blood pressure or hypertension. Blood pressure is commonly measured in the following two numbers. The first number, systolic blood pressure. It measures the tension in the arteries when the heart beats. The second number, diastolic blood pressure. It measures the tension in arteries when the heart relaxes between beats. What causes hypertension? No specific cause for high blood pressure exists, as it is a lifestyle-linked disease. The following settings trigger the risk of getting hypertension. Unhealthy diet, high salt in food increases your body's fluid retention and blood pressure. Also, more unsaturated fats and fewer fruits or leafy vegetables pose a high risk of high blood pressure. Age factor, risk increases with age. Smoking, with prolonged and heavy smoking, one can develop risks of hypertension. Alcohol consumption, continuous consumption of alcohol poses a significant threat to heart and liver health. Physical inactivity, less or no physical workout can lead to elevated resting heart rate, as the heart has to work harder and thus exert a higher pressure on the arteries. Obesity, more blood is required to be pumped into obese people's bodies, so the heart has to work much harder. This subsequently increases blood pressure. Hereditary, high blood pressure history in the ascendants, parents. Diabetes or renal disorders, diabetes, kidney disorders, and thyroid problems can often increase the risk of hypertension. How turmeric controls blood pressure. Turmeric prevents arterial damage. The sole reason behind heart ailments is an accumulation of plaque. Plaque narrows the passage of blood flow to the heart, brain, and other body parts. Besides regulating blood pressure, turmeric also helps take care of the damage caused by high blood pressure. Turmeric reduces bad cholesterol levels. LDL, or bad, cholesterol gathers in arteries in the form of plaque in the walls of arteries. Having high blood pressure in this state causes damage to tissues and arteries. Curcumin prevents fat deposits in the arteries. Curcumin in turmeric can help in preventing further damage caused to arteries because of high blood pressure. Turmeric brings down blood sugar levels. Curcumin helps in bringing down blood sugar levels and diabetes-linked complications. Increased blood sugar levels in diabetic patients also significantly increase blood pressure. Curcumin works well to keep these levels in control. Curcumin enhances the functioning and life of pancreatic cells, reducing the production of glucose in the liver while also increasing insulin resistance. This process collectively leads to a significant decrease in overall blood sugar levels, which reduces any risk of developing high blood pressure. Turmeric inhibits angiotensin-converting enzymes. Turmeric inhibits an angiotensin-converting enzyme that narrow downs blood vessels. It can further help relax blood vessels, thus regulating blood pressure. Turmeric prevents platelet variations. Hypertension can cause variations in the platelet count in the blood. Constantly changing blood pressure can make platelets hyperactive, leading to clots in arteries, which in turn blocks the blood supply from the heart to the rest of the body. Most studies claim that turmeric can prevent variations in platelet activity due to high blood pressure. Turmeric minimizes blood pressure. High blood pressure is the dysfunction of endothelial cells. Endothelial cells regulate blood vessel walls and aid in expanding or contracting the vessels for the healthy functioning of the heart. As we age, this endothelial function gets weaker. The oxidative stress triggers inflammation, plaque deposits, and hence blocked arteries leading to a heart attack. 
Curcumin and turmeric improves the function of endothelial cells. By widening and relaxing the blood vessels, curcumin helps bring down blood pressure. How to use turmeric for high blood pressure People having gallstones or patients suffering from any obstruction in their bile passage should use turmeric in limited amounts and under the supervision of their doctor. Using turmeric in extended amounts must be avoided. It can lead to stomach irritation or ulcers in an even worst-case scenario. As turmeric lowers blood sugar levels in the body, it can reduce blood sugar in people with diabetes, who are also taking medications to deal with the condition. Turmeric tea and turmeric milk has many tremendous and robust health benefits owing to their ability to regulate blood pressure and control the risky factors of high blood pressure. Science and research prove its genuineness for your heart's health. A recent study on human beings suggests that consuming curcumin slash turmeric may improve SBP, systolic blood pressure, when taken over long durations. However, more studies are required to be done to confirm these results. This wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, give us big thumbs and subscribe to the channel.